Hey guys, in uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find settings.json file in a Visual Studio Code. And uh, yes, I do have 13,000 lines in my CSS file. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to File, Preferences, Settings. And uh, yes, this is the settings page in the Visual Studio Code. And uh, whenever you change something here, your settings.json file will update. But where is the actual settings.json file we can edit manually? Okay, all you have to do is go to this upper right corner and click on this open settings button. And there you have it. This is the settings.json file for your Visual Studio code. Here you can change font size, colors of all kinds, uh, terminal size and font and all those different things that I've collected over the years with all kinds of settings. Your settings.json might be completely empty. So it just takes time of using Visual Studio Code to populate it with all kinds of properties and values, or sometimes you just have to enter them yourself into this file directly. Now, there's another way to access this file. So let's go ahead and close this and close this settings tab. Okay, so we're back in the project. And so what you want to do is just press Control Shift P. And we're going to get this drop down, which is the VS Code command palette. And just start typing settings.json. On top here, you'll see preferences, open user settings, JSON, and the second option, open default setting, JSON. Now, what is this default? Default is the read only file. So if you go there, this is the default Visual Studio Code JSON settings .json file. And as you can see, if you start typing into it, you can't do anything. You can't edit because this is the default factory setting for Visual Studio Code. One thing you can do is select it and copy. If you want to reset your settings.json file to the default, you'll press Control Shift P again, type settings.json, go to the second option, which is the user settings now. Okay, and Control V. And so I've just reset my settings.json file to original factory settings, but I'm going to control z out of this back to my settings and now there's actually three settings.json files and if i press Control shift p again and start typing settings.json just to find them here in this drop down you'll see we have user settings default settings and workspace settings so let's go ahead and check out the workspace settings and it's not the same as the previous user settings JSON file here. It's a completely different file and it's located in a .vs code folder here under settings.json. Okay, so this workspace settings.json file is a specific to a single workspace or project. So it's going to overwrite all of your other settings in this other file. This will be applied just for this project that's currently open. And that's pretty much all there is you need to know about location of settings.json file. Hopefully, guys, this helps you figure out where settings.json files are in Visual Studio Code. 